Oh, you had a little boy born sometime between February 19th and March 20th. Congratulations! Congratulations! You gave birth to a boy born when the sun was passing through that part of the zodiac called Pisces. You gave birth to the most purposeful little boy in the whole universe. You thought this bundle of dedicated energy came into this world to be typical, pliable, and sensible? <laughs> no, no, no. He came to be extraordinary, persistent, and purposeful. Once he set his mind to something, can he ever be committed to it? He lives somehow in a world apart, deep and profound. It's a unique place, a world crystal clear to him from where he views us but dimly. There, he can relentlessly attempt to realize his heartfelt dream, putting his purpose in motion. It's a fantastic endeavor, the fantastic journey of the purposeful little Pisces boy. Get ready, your baby's life has begun. First of all, this little boy will like names that sound purposeful like Albert, Edward, Alexander, George, Michael, James, William, Charles, Paul, and Glenn. He'll also like a nickname as long as it isn't too frivolous, like Rob, Judd, Will, Billy, Jackie, or Charlie. What he won't like are names that are smooth and slick, like Tyler, Trevor, Travis, Sean, Langley, or Penrod. And definitely no silly names like Ricky, Dicky, Lucky, or Freckles. More than likely, you will have noticed that his first words were not Dada or Mama, but names that he dreamt up for you that he thinks are better names than Dada and Mama. Or, at least, he'll wonder why Dada couldn't be Mama or Mama Dada. Nothing is set in this little boy's world until he sets it. It might take a while, but once he's figured out his world to his own satisfaction, it will be set. Sometimes what he's trying to figure out can seem to us the impossible, but what we think doesn't really much matter to him. He'll figure out what he wants to figure out in a committed, persistent, and purposeful way. It's the way of the Pisces boy. One day you decide you would like to take him for a little walk. Wonderful idea, except he would probably prefer to be off on his own little journey in his own little world. But if you fix up the four-wheeler with everything that's familiar, like his favorite blanket, toys, and cushions, so that he feels he is in his own little world, he'll go. People will love his calm serenity and wonder what's behind those limpid, liquid eyes. Someday they'll know. Someday you'll know. You see, his symbol is two fish tied together swimming in opposite directions. A curious symbol, and to some, confusing. But it's not confusing to him. Like the fish, he can easily swim up the stream as down the stream. It's all the same to him. And since each direction follows the other, he never gets lost. It's easy for him to take whatever direction he needs to take to fulfill his purpose. He's even been known, just like a fish, to swim what seems the impossible. Stand aside. Don't interfere. He's in his watery world, absorbed and purposeful. We might be confused, but he's not. And someday you'll know the purpose of this little Pisces boy. He's what is known as a water sign, which means he's emotional. Well, that is, he views life basically through his emotional center. His essence, his core, is to live life by how he feels. We all have emotions and feelings, but it's the water signs that live life by them. He lives in a watery world of emotion. His symbol, the fish, also lives in a watery world because fish have to. So this little boy's journey is definitely an underwater journey. His purposeful, persistent swim can only be a mystery for all of us on land as we marvel at his ability to deftly maneuver in and around. We are fascinated and might seek to fathom his unfathomable, wordless world. He might not readily help us understand, 
He most often does not openly express his feelings. He would have to surface to do that, and he's much more comfortable deep and safe within his world. So try not to cloud his waters. Fish can easily be disturbed and will swim off at the least provocation. You don't want that, so be gentle, be kind. Try not to worry if you don't exactly understand the hidden emotional world of the little Pisces boy. Understanding parents will provide a banquet of life he'll want to sit down to, like friends and relatives who will appreciate and applaud his purposeful swim, lessons in only those things which he shows an interest, teachers who don't mind giving him the time to figure it out himself, and a huge playpen where he can swim around openly and freely in complete safety. Understanding parents will not provide a banquet of life he will not want to sit at, like lectures on what he ought to be doing in life, friends and relatives who are always prying into how he feels about things, toys that have no purpose whatsoever, teachers who think he ought to be more cooperative and do everything the way everybody else is doing it, uh, or lines like, have you lost your senses? Wake up and do as you're told. No, no, no. His ruling orb in the solar system is Neptune. Neptune was named after the Roman god Neptune, the god of oceans and ancient underground waterways. Neptune represents a nebulous world of fantasy and imagination, where water dissolves the form and dreams take over. A wondrous world for anyone. And everything within this little boy feels the depth and profundity of this lucid liquid place. There he will dream his dreams and form his fantasies. Neptune, furthermore, compels him to refine his dreams and fantasies within the realm of idealistic compassion. It's fascinating watching his fantasies unfold. He's also born to the polarity that first likes to take energy in from everything and everyone around him before putting any out. So it might take some time before you know what journey he's on. Give him the space to be who he is. He's got a lot of absorbing to do, a lot of dreaming, and then a lot of purposeful doing to do. With his symbol the fish, his element water, his orb Neptune, and his polarity of absorption, he definitely will do all this within a world of water deep beneath the surface of the sea. He's a little Pisces. He's what is called a mutable son, which basically means he thinks his way is the best way. After all, he's been swimming around in that watery world of his for days and days, mulling it over, pondering, reflecting, figuring it all out. So why shouldn't he think his way is the best way? Some people might think he's more waterlogged than anything else and try to suggest to him that his way just might not be the best way. Huh, he's off in a flash. Now you see him, now you don't. He's not going to hang around and talk to anyone who obviously hasn't mulled it over, pondered, reflected, and figured it out, because if they had, they would know his way is the best way. He'll just think you're pretty stupid. So let him think his way is the best way, even though you don't. You'll be much better off. His sign is into that part of the body known as the feet. It's a good thing. He needs good feet to get him where he's got to go to be that all-purposeful person he's going to be. He would have preferred fins, but feet are what he's got. Anyway, make sure he's got a good pair of shoes. Actually, the more pairs, the better. He'll have a great time choosing which pair to wear each day to accommodate that day of being extraordinary, persistent, purposeful, demanding, indulgent, and downright obdurate. Some might want to give him a swift one with their foot. Don't let them. He doesn't mean it. He's just being how little Pisces boys are. 
He's not going to fall in love with the little girl next door. No, no, no. Well... Not unless the little girl next door doesn't mind following him all over the place on those monumental, purposeful little swims of his. She'll probably have to commit herself to his purpose, whatever that might be, and not care that he's off a lot of the time by himself doing all this dreaming and fantasizing. Now, this could be a tall order for any little girl, and that includes the little girl next door. So throw a lot of parties and invite everyone far and wide in hope some little wonderful babe will show up who will be completely smitten by his swim and isn't afraid of water. But little girl or no little girl, his purposeful, persistent swim will be had. It's been known to be a fantastic swim, bringing with it prolific results. After all, wasn't Albert Einstein's purposeful, persistent journey fantastic with prolific results? And he was born a Pisces boy. And how about Galileo and Alexander Graham Bell? They went on purposeful, persistent, fantastic journeys with prolific results, and they were born Pisces boys. Then there was Grimm and his fantastic fairy tales, and Victor Hugo, Longfellow, and Steinbeck. And... Michelangelo, Renoir, and Botticelli. Chopin, Ravel, Rossini, Vivaldi, and Handel, all on fantastic, prolific journeys and all born Pisces boys. And what about the great Caruso? There was the fantastic Rudolf Nureyev and the great Nijinsky. And then there was George Washington, Andrew Jackson, James Madison, Grover Cleveland, and Itzhak Rabin. There's Mikhail Gorbachev, F.W. de Clark and Edward Kennedy, all purposeful and born Pisces boys. And how about Robert Altman, Spike Lee, Ron Howard, Rob Reiner, and Vincent Minnelli, all fantastic directors and born Pisces boys. There's Bugsy Siegel, Rupert Murdoch, and Ralph Nader, purposeful Pisces boys. Then there's Glenn Miller, Nat King Cole, Lawrence Welk, Quincy Jones, Michelle Legrand, Bobby McFerrin, George Harrison, James Taylor, Al Jarreau, Charlie Pride, Johnny Cash, and Bon Jovi. And there's Desi Arnaz and William Frawley, Jackie Gleason and Luke Costello, Billy Crystal, Carl Reiner, Jerry Lewis, Rex Harrison, Raul Julia, Michael Caine, William Hurt, Kurt Russell, Bruce Willis, Charles Durning, Rob Lowe, Lee Marvin, Sidney Poitier, Tony Randall, and Chuck Norris. All born Pisces boys. And that's just the name a few. So do you think this little boy will grow up to be extraordinary, persistent, and purposeful? For sure he will, no matter how far and wide his world. But only with love and understanding. The kind of love and understanding you'll be able to give him once you've really learned who he really is. Only with that kind of love and understanding will you be able to help him grow to maturity, to be his fun-loving, sensitive, and creative self. Give your little boy a break. Let him know with love you'll make a place, a haven for his sake, where all of him you will take and cherish till one day you wake to find he's gone, gone to make his way. You then perchance may be heard to say, because I understood my baby's life. I helped as he grew into adult life, my extraordinary persistent and purposeful little Pisces 